Hi, I'm Cindy Cloward with Riley Blake Designs, and today's project is a zipper pouch. We call it around here the taco pouch because it looks like a taco, and who doesn't love tacos? But it's so fun and easy to make. We've created three different sizes, and it's a free download. The pattern is a free download on our Riley Blake Designs website. So I'm gonna show you how to make the smallest size today. So let's get started and these are the supplies needed. So the first thing you're going to do is take your template that you've downloaded and printed it and cut it out. This is your pattern. And notice it says place on the fold. So your fabric's gonna be folded in half, so it's important to use a non-directional piece of fabric. So there's not, because the opposite side will face down if you have a directional piece of fabric. So florals are perfect for this project. And you can see I've already Mark that and cut this out. So I've cut out my outer piece and my lining piece. It can be the same print, but what's the fun in that? And then I've cut out two lining interfacing pieces and they are fusible on one side. So you'll be able to fill the bubble, the glue um, parts on one side of the fabric. So once you've cut those all out in that pattern shape, again, cutting it on the fold, you're gonna put your fusible interfacing on one side and it faces the wrong side of your fabric. So you can just feel that bubble, the glue bubbles on the bottom that are activated by heat. And we flip that over. And then once those are all lined up, you're gonna take it to your pressing station with a nice hot iron. You're going to press the interfacing to the wrong side of your fabric. Okay, once that's done, you're gonna get your fabric piece that's outside of your little taco pouch, your little zipper pouch, and you grab your zipper. Now your zipper is gonna be larger than your actual bag and you're gonna trim it down. So there's some steps you need to know about that. First, because it's a curved top, you need to clip into your zipper um, to make sure that the zipper will fold over the top of your, your pouch. So I've done one side. You clip every inch or so and just about one centimeter in. Do not go to the teeth of your zipper, just because you want to have that sewn inside your seam allowance. Now we're gonna start putting our zipper onto our pouch. And since this is the outside, we do right sides together again. You don't start at the very end. I just kind of start because that's going to be trimmed off. And you make sure that the zipper will be facing up. So it faces down while you're pinning this together. Okay, I'm going to take it to the machine and sew this first side. You can use a zipper foot but I also sew this without my zipper foot, so you can use a regular foot as well. Now I'm using a fourth inch seam allowance as I go along. And it works just fine without a zipper foot. Okay, we have sewn one side. You can Flip it over like that. Make sure it's how you want it to be. You've caught all your seams, but see how nice that looks? And now we're gonna add the opposite side, doing the same method. 
right sides together. But when you do this, make sure it's the same part of the zipper, just on the opposite side. So you're lining that up. You can just leave that zipper zipped up just like that. And you're just going to ease that zipper around that curve, just like that. Okay, take it to the machine. So again, you're using about fourth inch seam allowance. Okay, you finished the two sides. Now you can unzip your zipper. Inspect it all around, make sure everything's been caught. Looks good. Now you're gonna take your lining piece, do right sides together, line that up. A lot of times I just start pinning. And again, it's just kind of the zipper is sandwiched between the lining piece and the outer piece, the outside of the bag. Okay, take it to the machine and use your fourth inch seam allowance. Okay, we've sewn all of our sides. Looks like I've caught everything. Let's flip it right side out. Okay, let me give it a good press. Make sure I've caught everything. Now you don't have to do a top stitch. But I think I'm going to just add a top stitch along here. Or you can just skip the top stitch. But I just want to reinforce this zipper. So I'm going to do a top stitch all the way around. Okay, I finished that top stitch. I like how that looks. Now I'm just going to zip it closed, make sure I didn't miss anything. It's looking pretty good. Okay, let's finish it off now. And I am, you need to line up. You're going to box your two corner edges. So how you do that, so I'm going to zip it closed just for a minute. So see how I lay that down just like that. I need to center this up over my zipper. So the zipper is in the center. Gotta make sure that's just right. Manipulate a little bit. So your bag, again, it's centered. The zipper is centered over that, that, that bottom little square. Okay, I'm going to take it and sew it, the machine back stitching on both sides.
Okay, we've finished sewing that. I'm gonna check this boxed corner before I cut off my extra zipper. So now that square, you want a nice 45 degree angle. Looks good. So I'm going to trim that off with some scissors. Like that. And I will take it back to the machine and just kind of zigzag those raw edges. But before I do that, I'm going to do box my other side. Now I am going to run a, a basting stitch so this does not shift the end of my zipper just like that. I'm going to run a basting stitch across there. So that's kind of lined up like that. And now I am ready to line up this bottom. Make sure those teeth just lined up of the zipper, the teeth of the zipper. This one's a little more fiddly on this side. Okay, so I'm gonna stitch across here, back stitching a couple times to reinforce this seam. Okay, let's check out both sides. Well, I'm going to make sure this side works. Well, pull the zip from the inside out. Unzip. That looks good. Your teeth are all lined up. That works. Now, I just do a double check to make sure it's even on both sides, and I even do a quick measure. That's two inches across my box. That's two inches across, perfect. So my box is even on both sides, so I'm ready to cut the extra part of the zipper. Now, I, you could do one or two things. You could leave this raw edges just like that. I like to run a little zigzag. You could even use um, bias strips on here to finish it off really nice, but I'm going to just do a little quick zigzag on both sides. Okay, trim off your extra threads. Okay, that looks good. Now let's open it up a little more, flip inside out, and grab a turning tool. You can kind of poke out those edges right there. Perfect. zip it closed. Look how cute that is. Now you could be finished, but what's the fun in that? So let's add a few embellishments. This time I'm going to add a little charm. Oh, we have lots of charms at Riley Blake Designs. And these are perfect little zipper pulls. So here's a fun charm. This would look really cute there, but oh, it looks so nice with the yellow. So I think I'll put with this on this yellow pouch, the medium size. So that's super cute. Also, another fun embellishment would be to add these leather tags that say handmade. It's just a really nice touch. 
and perfect for gift giving. So whether you're making it for yourself or a girlfriend or someone that you love, this is a great way to show them that you care by making them a zipper pouch.